Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, the 19th of December. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather warming up in the days ahead. Some weekend storms to deal with. What about the chance of severe weather with those? And what about the weather for Christmas? Let's get in there and take a look. Here's the big picture this morning. Things evolving as expected. Got the big upper system moving into California and the West Coast. That holds the key to our weekend weather. In advance of that, you can see clouds increasing over much of the western and central U.S. But around here, we're starting the day clear and cold, and that's a wonderful example of why this is not a really good one-number place. When you're forecasting lows at daybreak, got 25 at Gadsden. It's 15 degrees warmer just down the road in Coleman. They've got 40. Uh, Birmingham at 35. But everybody should be in the low 60s today with a good supply of sunshine. Around the nation, you can see how that nice tongue of warm air is coming up across the southern Plain states. We'll be in the upper 60s tomorrow and in the 70s on Saturday to start the weekend. And they're very close to record levels. Record high Saturday is 73. Set in 1923, we might beat that. In advance of the storm system, we've got flash flood watches now for parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, up through Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. Winter storm watches up in the colder air for northern Missouri and parts of Iowa. And a lot of winter weather advisories out over the western and northwestern part of the nation. Of course, we are concerned about the warm sector. And in that, we have the standard slight risk of severe weather on day three, which is Saturday. For most of East Texas, all of Louisiana, all of Mississippi, much of Arkansas, uh, the western part of Tennessee, and extreme west Alabama. And uh, keep in mind, this outlook runs through Sunday morning at 6 a.m. local time. And those storms should creep into Alabama after midnight Saturday night. And uh, the higher probabilities are west of here, well west of here, around the Arklatex, around uh, Shreveport, up toward Little Rock, and then down to Lufkin, Texas. That's a 30% circle. And there is no outlook for Alabama on day four. At this point, I think at some time they'll probably put up the, the slight risk. I uh, don't think I'd call this a major, you know, severe weather threat. But you know what? If one tree blows into your house, it's a major deal. So uh, we'll be watching for the squall line uh, uh, Sunday morning. And we'll take a look at the modeling here and that in just a second. Up in the colder air, if you're looking for snow, that's the best chance of that. This is valid from uh, Saturday morning through Sunday morning. This is the chance of more than one inch of snow. Uh, the better chance running from near Amarillo, Texas, up to uh, Milwaukee. And ice could be an issue. Freezing rain. This is the uh, chance of ice accumulation from uh, midday tomorrow till midday Saturday. And you can see that runs from uh, up through Kansas City and St. Louis to near Chicago. So in the colder air, this thing is going to be kind of a, a winter weather mess. But we will be in the warm sector. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today, local time. And uh, we'll watch the upper low. It's near Los Angeles. And, of course, we'll be sunny and comfortable here today. This is tomorrow. The upper low is uh, just below Phoenix. And, uh, you know, with, with upper systems like this in the southwest, uh, you know, once they get in that position and then begin to lift out and everything's in the American upper air network, we've got a pretty good idea of the timing and what's going to happen. It's still in that phase where there could be some changes in the timing. In fact, there's still some pretty big model differences, as you'll see. Uh, this is the surface look tomorrow, and uh, we'll see clouds increasing, and there might be a shower around late in the day, but much of the day should be dry. We keep warming up. We'll be in the upper 60s tomorrow. Okay, this is Saturday. And uh, the trough is opening up and lifting out. A little bit of a negative tilt to that. And uh, there's a look at the uh, midday surface chart. And uh, the surface low is on the GFS just above Texarkana, Arkansas. About 1,000 millibars. And 
Uh, this run of the GFS, I think, is a touch too fast. Uh, it's been the faster model all along. Uh, but whatever, Saturday, all of the, the active weather during the day will be west of here. Arkansas, Louisiana, eastern Texas, into uh, Mississippi by Saturday night. For us, Saturday, could there be a shower? Yes. A uh, couple of showers around, no doubt about that. But I think a pretty decent part of the day could be dry, just kind of warm and breezy. The NAM is showing a high of 76. The GFS is at 73. And again, the record high Saturday is 73. So it's going to be a very warm uh, December 21st. This is Saturday night at midnight. The surface low is near Indianapolis with a trailing band of storms moving in here. And really, this is suggesting the storms might enter northwest Alabama like 9 or 10 o'clock Saturday night. There's a very fast run here. And then Sunday at noon, everything is out of here. Uh, but just to show you the model madness, this is the uh, North American Mesoscale model. This is Saturday at uh, midday. Surface low is near the Red River on the Texas-Oklahoma border. This is Saturday night at midnight. The surface low is over southeast Missouri with the storms just approaching the Mississippi River. And then this is Sunday at midday, and the storms are just creeping into northwest Alabama. So th this is an outlier on the slow side. But, you know, with a very strong ridge uh, over the South Atlantic coast, that don't blow this thing off completely. Uh, there could be some credibility to this slower idea with a strong ridge holding to the east of here, and that could shunt the main dynamics for severe weather north and west of the state. European, this is noon Sunday. It's got the uh, band of storms coming in here. So the NAM and the European clearly slower than the fast GFS. And the model inconsistency, you know, makes for a challenging forecast on the timing. But we'll just say we'll have to open up this big window from like midnight Saturday night until maybe mid-afternoon Sunday, and we can narrow that down as we get closer. Typically, we could narrow it down more at this stage of the game, but uh, with, again, Model madness is still ruling to some degree. Now, the uh, GFS will take a look at the severe weather numbers, and since it's so fast, we'll pick midnight Saturday night or 12 a.m. Sunday. Uh, and it's typical in December with these kind of things. It's the, the instabilities are not that impressive. The higher capes are down over extreme south Alabama where the instability is over 750 joules down there. But remember, in the cold season, you can have severe weather with low capes. In fact, that's <laughs> a fairly normal thing. I think out of all the parameters, this is probably the most impressive, the wind field in the low-level jet. Uh, this is about 5,000 feet off the ground at 850 millibars, and uh, those winds are screaming up there. Now, the higher speeds are north of here. There's some 80-knot values over Kentucky and Ohio. Uh, down this way, the uh, values are in the 40 to 50-knot range. But again, some of that could be easily pulled down to the surface, and we figure this will be a, a mainly linear event, just a band of storms. And uh, with strong gusty winds, and, and they could easily, you know, produce winds maybe in some spots in excess of 50 miles an hour, maybe in some spots knocking down trees and power lines. And I think that's going to be the main threat will be strong winds within that line at some point Sunday morning, whether it's pre-dawn or 6 a.m. to noon. We just don't know that yet. And the uh, shear values are not as high as they have been in the low levels. Uh, I, I just don't think there's a big tornado threat here. Could there be an isolated tornado? Yes. But I think strong straight line winds is the main risk with this thing uh, Sunday morning. So, you know, again, uh, after midnight, Saturday night into the daytime hour Sunday, at some point there's going to be a band of storms sweeping through here with potential for strong, maybe damaging straight line winds. And uh, we'll be watching that carefully over the weekend. Monday, everything's gone. Weather turns colder. High Monday will be uh, around 50, maybe low 50s with a pretty good north breeze, the sky becoming sunny. Uh, this is Tuesday. I think we'll be in the 20s early Tuesday morning. High Tuesday should be in the low to mid-50s. And uh, Christmas Day, as we've talked about for days and days, weather should be sunny and pleasant with highs in the 50s and lows around freezing. And again, that's very close to seasonal averages for December 25th. And the day after Christmas, we stay dry. Go out there a few more days. This is December 30th. And the model has been very consistent in this idea of some type of storm out here. This has got the surface low on the Gulf Coast. That'd just be a rain event here. And maybe some snow north of us, if that's right. Kentucky, maybe down into northwest Tennessee. 
And then on New Year's Eve, that feature moves off the Atlantic coast. And, of course, we've seen all kind of variations out here. But we turned colder on uh, New Year's Eve. The 540 line down to uh, Birmingham. That would suggest highs only in the 40s here. Here's the end of the forecast on the 3rd of January. Troughing off to the west and some type of rain event starting. But, of course, this is all speculation at that point or at this point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by... Uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.